Hello and welcome, my name is Ryan, I'm also known as RM2K Dev. Now, in this video I just want to show you guys a, um, it's basically a UI component system that I'm building for GameMaker. Um, so some of the components that we have, we've just got buttons here, one is enabled, one is disabled, so you can see if we click on this it does nothing, if we click on this it pops up a message. Uh, we have text box, basically a text box here, um, when you click on it it sets the focus, as you can see by the color change, when you click on something else that focus goes away. Um, obviously, I'm typing with my keyboard now, and nothing's happening. If I focus on the key on the text box and type, you'll see text does appear. We have um, backspace support, and I know some of the component systems you have to keep pressing the backspace button. Um, I've implemented the standard Windows style hold down. There's a slight delay between the first and then the re the repetition, so it goes. There's a so you hit the button, then there's a I think it's a five frame delay, and then there's a one frame delay per delete after that. So that just works like that. The entire thing is um, organized is going to be organized into a, a system where basically you import the UI system uh, section here, and I will make all of the um, code code changes in this and updates and things like that and then basically you have a text box and all of your buttons and things like that separate to that that basically parent to those base objects so if I do ever update these in the future you can just download the updated objects and drop them into your projects and all of your buttons should receive the updated functionality providing you haven't changed any of the base objects um, so something quite cool is just like the way that these text boxes work if I type my name into there like hello I am Ryan and then press submit you'll see I get a pop-up message which basically says hello I'm Ryan the way that works I've tried to make this work as, as close as possible to uh, a Visual Studio style of um, button um, and and same thing with the text box so basically when you click on the button all you say is text box dot text so if you were to create another text box I'm just gonna duplicate this we'll call this txt uh, password uh, all the properties remain the same and then if we were to place one of those into the room uh, object uh, defaults txt password simple as that and then in our button event we basically just say uh, show message txt password dot text so it works quite similar to dot net style of um, uh, of um, programming so I'll show you guys how that works really quickly so basically yeah if I if I type uh, hello I am Ryan and then Ryan. And then in the next box, password one two three four five six seven. What you'll see is we get hello I am Ryan, and then password one two three four five six seven. In the same way, we can create a button. So I'll show you guys how to create a button. I'm just going to duplicate this one here that I've already got. We're going to call this button set text. And again, it's very easy to um, customize. Basically, in our left release button, we can do the same thing where we bet. But in this time, sorry, in this way, we just say button text equals hello and we do the same thing for the password where we just basically say uh, text password equals password here so this will work this should work exactly the same just in reverse oops I think I need to put that button into the room as well uh, there we go. so we'll just drop an instance of um, button set text I'm just gonna drop that over here Uh, one thing I forgot to change on that is just the caption. So if we go into the create event, you can see I've got a text event here. I can just change this here to um, uh, set text. And all of the text will align itself perfectly center on the buttons. So you'll see it says set text here. I press that, you'll see the two text boxes have updated their text fields now. Um, so that works quite nicely as well. And the other thing is the the base button um, in the create event, I'll just show you this, it uses a uh, <clears throat> a lightning and darkening system for the colors so if you have a hue saturation and uh, I think that's vibrance um, I'm not too sure uh, brightness maybe uh, but basically if you want to adjust the colors you can just adjust the hue variable here so in your button set text under your create event you can just say h for hue equals I don't know 175 degrees and that will automatically calculate the oh no it didn't um, what happened there that might be a bug, I have to check that out later, but basically yeah um, you can come in here and you can change these h variables, oh I know what it is 
it's already calculated these colors so I need to make an update event for that but that's not a problem um, 175 I'll just show you doing it like this but basically you change the color of the buttons by doing that and it automatically calculates the uh, darker and lighter colors so when you hover over it you get a darker and when you click it you get a lighter and if you drag off you just go back to your default colors so you get your colors like that basically quite simple um, hello password here and I can go I can click on these and start changing them and then bring this button up here we also have the disabled event as well so if you were to open up a, a button you'll also have a, a variable called enabled if enabled is false obviously the button will no longer work there we go so that's been disabled the other thing we can do is programmatically set these as well uh, so basically in here I can just say something like if I do click the set text button I could say something like button show name dot enabled equals false and again this works very similar to the Visual Studio style way of doing things so if I hit this button here you'll see that button becomes disabled a ah, couple of glitches but um, yeah all in all it's uh, coming along pretty well so uh, let me know what you think guys and uh, thanks for watching please subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, like this video. Bye.